So there was the focus on, more on the tolerance and 3D experience, but we defined perceived quality also as a topic of color and trim. Perceived quality is a um, is about the look, the feel, and the touch, basically. Yeah. So everything is very important for you as a customer to experience your your product. So basically, there is uh, 3D experience opened up, and we have here already uh, the 3DCS variation analyst for V6 integrated opened here. So you have this the complete model here. We have used a gear shifter from our um, from our own um, model called uh, the Blue, and we use that for a, a perceived quality review here on the top. So let's um, build that up. And now, as you can see, I already um, applied some materials on, on on the gear shifter. So let's let's have a look at here and reframe on on these materials um, to show you the the materials itself. Basically, we have here metal. You see, we have reflections. You, if we get a bit closer, I will wait a second, and maybe you can already see here that there's a, a small texture applied, which should be um, visualizing a kind of a plastic. So let's zoom out a bit, um, zoom into this gap, because we are now facing today this gap here. And as I just explained, uh, from the designer's perspective, so from the workflow, the designer is normally going into that uh, and um, is designing the model itself and then is uh, going into the um, into some parts where he wants to to define the uh, the original gap so therefore he provided some spec studies okay good um, so um, we have here the nominal state so this is what the designer is uh, how the designer is was designing it and the designer says, okay, from first of all, he wants to have a maximum gap distance between the screen and the metal part here. So first of all, this should be looking like this. This is not a big, oh. big gap, but we, of course, he wants to have that. And as you can, as you just imagine, uh, as you just saw, we still have the materials applied in a skill, and I can still work on, on, on DCS stuff. So if we are now looking, for example, on a, another example, for uh, example, a the minimum flush and apply that you really see okay this is what he says okay this is that from the flush perspective is that what he's minimum expecting or what this is the minimum volume he he wants to have and on the other side you have the maximum i'm sorry here i apply the maximum and then we can see that now this is already really cool um, but DCS and um, uh, provided us a really, really cool solution now. So if I'm closing that for a second and select spec studies, I want to show you the spec study viewer. And now with the spec study viewer, I have opened here a small um, navigation window, let's say, and I can directly with a, with a point of a double click change to Katia live rendering. So now I'm in Katia live rendering and I, with Katia Live Rendering, I'm able to click on on this button here, which allows me then to, to switch on the ray tracing. And within the ray tracing, you see now the correct shadowing. As you can see here now, the um, the gap has now a really crisp shadow and uh, the correct behavior of a shadow. And within that, I can now switch on the Mac gaps distance. And with a with a within a second, I see. The distance has changed so still i can still use all the input from dcs and e evaluate directly in my 3d scene uh the, the spec studies